So here we go, the final act in what has been a, a competition that has entranced us throughout, never short on drama or emotion or talking points. This year's edition certainly does more than hold up to its predecessors. It seems this is the game in which everybody is keen to play a part. The stands are washed with colour, proud renditions of their songs from either end. It really does have all the ingredients of a top, top final. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. The crowd rises for the national anthem of Belgium. impressive match that Teams, Jim, eyeing the ultimate prize here, unerring focus and determination in all of those eyes. Yes, Peter, I've been a, a winning finalist and I've been a, a losing finalist and I don't need to tell anyone what I preferred. Winning will help fans remember you for a long, long time. So I sincerely wish both teams well and hope that all the players can give a good account of themselves and, and you've heard it before, may the best team do it. Final gets on the way. As with a lot of finals, caution plays a big part in the opening stages, but an early goal can blow all that away. So I hope that we can um, create a, a, an attacking contest here, which, which obviously we want for this showpiece. Forward it goes. Barrera. Di Lorenzo. Floats one over. He's managed to get it all wrong. That's a real shame, Peter, because it was beautifully worked. Took the defence out of the picture, but he'll be in no hurry to watch the replay. The Marlin drives it forward. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Hoists it forward. Witzel. Marco Verratti. Immobile. Immobile drives it forward. Chiesa looking to get on the end of this. Chiesa. Chiesa! Goal, Italy! Could that be the start of something big? Oh, it's a keeper's nightmare, Peter. He just couldn't pick up on it until it was way too late, having so many bodies in front of him.
Italy have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? Well, Peter, the emphasis should now switch to winning it rather than even thinking about losing it. That's the throw. Donnarumma sends that a long way. And it's De Bruyne. And De Bruyne! He's done very well to get to that. De Bruyne really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. Immobile. Berardi goes up and over. The Tongan knocks it away. Just brushed off the ball there. Jorginho goes looking. Keeper sends it forward. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. A real chance to break. Courtois catches it safely. Azar. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. Denier. And it's played forward. He's got through. And here's Lukaku. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal. And he didn't go for the back heel. He's made sure that that won't get through. Now it's Immobile. Hit long and direct. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Then Donka. Whistle's gone, and we've reached the halfway point of the final. There we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. So, we've had the first 45 minutes of the final, Jim. How's it looking for you? Well, it's obvious who's likely to be more content going in at half-time, but I sincerely hope that there's a, a fitting response from the opposition to really engage us on the big occasion. Italy leading 1-0 at the break. And we are already promptly back on the way. Italy carrying a one-goal lead. <laughs> and it's Lukaku. A scything tackle! I have to say, that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. Oh, what a ball! Ball's loose, who's getting there? Jorginho. Now it's Lukaku. Mertens tries lifting it over. Shade too heavy. Keeper can pick that up. Jorginho. Jorginho. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. It's come loose. Your impression so far, Jim? They're ahead, but they're not playing as if they are. There seems to be uh, more of an emphasis on protecting their lead than, than adding to it. It's all gone a little timid. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And it's Berardi. Immobile. And here's Berardi. And he's cut it out. Thank you. 
Italy are making a change now. Can he? Oh, shooting chance! And he's there to clear it. Chiellini. Emerson tries to pick out a teammate. He's gone for it! He's missed, but not by that far. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Insigne has got a run down the left wing. Emerson gets it back. Ferretti. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. He gets past his man. Donnarumma gets it upfield. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Belgium have it back and they can go again. The Tongan drives it towards the front. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that. Shot a goal! We've got a goal! Dying minutes and we're all square again! Yeah, the pass was bang on, and he just had to ensure he didn't stray offside. The finish was actually bang on too. Changes here from both sides, in fact. So all square with almost no time remaining. Now it's Lukaku. An uncompromising challenge. All square after 90 minutes. There will be extra time. Yeah, no daylight between these two sides, but I have to say, neither side really did enough to find a winner. They just cancelled each other out. Well, fitness and fatigue, the key factors now as we head for extra time. Well, here we go then. Italy pay the price for failing to close out the match in normal time. Can they avoid the same fate here, where the consequences are still more serious? Done very well to intervene. Dinks one in. Cleared away. Has a go! Fence has got rid of that. Back to the keeper and go again. Oh, that is asking for trouble. He's Lukaku! Oh, that's incredible! And that may just do it! Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. Ah, Peter, that was just a, a defensive act of generosity that was always going to uh, have a painful ending.
So we have a breakthrough. Now how will things develop from here? Denier gets it away. Oh, real danger here. And they shapes the shoot! Goal, Italy! Again, we are level. What a contest! Italy are looking strong on the break. Winning the ball in midfield is one thing, but it's their clever use of counter-attacking. That's the real highlight. So all square and not for the first time. Well, I think the players will be buoyed by the fact that they've managed to level things in a hurry. Half time, extra time. Well, it may well be a case of who's got most to give now. Fitness levels look good and it's not any less competitive. The whistle goes, we're off and running. So, time for a bit of smash and grab. Jorginho plays it forward. Played back in. And the finish! It's off target and by quite a way. Italy are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Well, he's worked so hard for a side, uh, as you would expect, but he couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Great leap! Oh, what about that? Late in the day, this could well be it! No space, no problem. You just cannot stop him. Oh, this fella's as slippery as a eel the way he freed himself to score. I mean, for that defence, it was a case of now you've got him, now you don't. Brilliant. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat trick. Belgium go into the lead. I think what we've just seen is further evidence of their resilience and fantastic belief. I mean, they can always come through. Remarkable. Meunier. Denier. The Tongan tries to get it forward quickly. And he's straight offside. Barrera, Di Lorenzo, Bellotti, decent looking ball, real chance, good stop, that wasn't easy. Benucci is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save, a lovely little footballing moment. Averted for now. The final whistle and the end. Italy fall at the final hurdle. They gave it everything, but it was a bridge too far. And so it ends in pain as the glory goes elsewhere.
So much endeavour, so much expectation, so little ultimate reward. Yeah, Peter, I've been in this position and it's a horrible part of the game to get so close to a trophy and have it snatched away. I can tell you the disappointment will ease, but the memory